Etymology and historical origin of the baby name Autumn. Autumn is an English vocabulary word defining one of the four seasons. It comes from the Latin autumnus via the Old French autumn meaning harvest time of plenty, the time of gathering crops, perhaps taken from octus meaning to enhance, increase. Originally the fall season was referred to as harefest, harvest, in Old English before being replaced with autumn in Middle English, see, late 14th century, under French influence. In England, autumn falls between August and October while in the United States it's September through November. In Greek mythology, Demeter was the goddess who presided over the seasons. When Zeus stole her daughter, Persephone, and gave the girl to Hades, god of the underworld, the worried Demeter traveled to the four corners of the earth looking for her precious daughter. Unable to find Persephone, Demeter became so distraught that she ceased producing food on the earth. In order to save the dying earth and starving mortals, Zeus sent for Hermes, the messenger god, to retrieve Persephone from Hades. Hades agreed to let her go providing she didn't eat any food in the underworld, but the girl unwittingly ate some pomegranate seeds just prior to her release. As a consequence, she is forced to return to the underworld for four months of the year. According to tradition, Persephone returns to Earth during the seasons of autumn, winter and spring, but is back with Hades in the summer, when plant life is not flourishing and exposed to droughts. As a female given name, autumn has only been around since the 1960s. It's most popular in the United States, but is also used with respectable frequency in Canada and England. Personality of the girl name Autumn The number 9 personality represents the completion or ending of the cycle and a need for perfection. This is the personality that moves from self to a greater understanding and compassion for the human condition and the world order. They want to make the world a better place. Nines are capable of great spiritual and humanitarian achievements. They are courageous and fearless, able to fight great battles on behalf of worthy causes. These personalities will not tolerate injustice. They are compassionate people with a strong sensitivity to others. They are able to both educate and inspire. Friendships and relationships are the lifeblood to the Nine, and they place a high value on love and affection. Nines are often exceptionally gifted artistically, and they have a keen imagination and enterprising mind. Popularity of the girl named Autumn Autumn made her first appearance on the U.S. Popularity charts in 1969 This most likely corresponded with the hippie era when such organic, nature-oriented names became the fashion in some circles. Not only does Autumn predate summer on the charts, but it's also been quite a bit more popular. The only time summer surpassed Autumn in annual usage was during a brief spell in the 1970s. Summer has never been on the top 100 list, but Autumn achieved that echelon in 1997, and it hasn't looked back. Even though it's a common vocabulary word, it still feels unique as a given name. Autumn is a wholesome, lovely name choice. Quick facts on Autumn. Gender, girl. Origin, English. Number of syllables, 2. Ranking popularity, 65. Pronunciation, a w tongue. Simple meaning, season of harvest. Characteristics of autumn. Intuitive, independent, perfection, philanthropy, oneness, idealistic, multi-talented. Cultural references to the baby name, autumn. Literary characters of the baby name, autumn. To autumn is a poem written by the English romantic poet, John Keats, in 1819. The poem is three stanzas and personifies autumn as Keats describes her beauty of sights and sounds. The poem is highly regarded and considered one of Keats' finest. The first stanza addresses Autumn, describing its abundance and its intimacy with the sun, with whom Autumn ripens fruits and causes the late flowers to bloom. In the second stanza, the speaker describes the figure of Autumn as a female goddess, often seen sitting on the granary floor, her hair soft lifted by the wind, and often seen sleeping in the fields or watching a cider press squeezing the juice from apples. In the third stanza, the speaker tells Autumn not to wonder where the songs of spring have gone.